Nature gives both of us a chance to unleash, to get out, to run, and to play. He shows me around because, well, he's from here. It's his home. Hey, buddy, what'd you find? What is that? Yep, it's gone. Just missed that flying fox again. He's an elusive one. Nature distracts my mind by getting lost in the little details. The reminder of the city behind us is always there, but... Oh, well, let's forget about it and dive back in. One of the games we play is I let the dog choose which route we take. You never know quite what you'll find on those little journeys. We enter some great bamboo. We gotta jump around, move around, get around. It doesn't matter. But that's the fun in the game. You just get out there and move. What's that? I don't know. It came out of the tree. Getting out into nature gives me a chance to just breathe freshly and freely. I always make sure that I stop and take a little butterfly break when the opportunity presents itself. Let's go! After some good lungfuls of that fresh pure air, might as well just run it off and see what else we can find. When traveling in nature, especially in the tropics, beware. Beware of where you put your hands and feet. There are spiky, thorny things all over the place. Keeping a sharp focus on the way ahead, a man moving through the jungle with a dog loses a flip-flop. Don't worry, it's quickly replaced. Remember that game I told you about, about letting the dog choose the route? Well, this is the type of situation that we get into. Express route. But then, the challenges of the dog route pay off. Somebody lives in there, but they're not at home right now. And then that little event turns into another challenge. Careful where you place that foot. And that's how you do it sometimes. It's always an advantage when there's a little local camp nearby. Oh, jungle Run Splash Off. <laughs> 